Hi, I'm Mr. Ash from Codespeak Labs, and we're going to be creating a strong password generator in Python. Now that much of our lives are on the internet, having a strong password is more important than ever. In today's project, we'll be learning what goes into a weak, moderate, and strong password. Here's a sneak peek at the finished product. You'll see our app is going to ask how long we want our password to be. All we have to do is put in a number of how many characters we want the password to be, and it'll give us three options. One option of a weak password, one of a moderate password, and one of a strong password. So let's start coding. To get started, go to replit.com slash languages so we can choose the language we'll be coding in. Once on this screen, go ahead and click on Python, and it'll bring you to your code editor. If you scroll down, you'll see on the left side, we'll be typing our code. On the right side is our console, where we'll see all of the results of our code. And up top, you'll see the Run button. So let's get started. Go ahead and delete line one. And we'll get started with our code. First thing we want to do is import random. What this line does is it includes a module called random, which includes the code to let us choose random options for our app. This is useful for us because if we choose random characters for our password, it'll be harder for a hacker to guess what it is. Next, go ahead and hit enter. So you get line two, and we're going to create a variable called length. This is going to hold how long our password is going to be. We want to give the user the option of choosing how long we want the password to be. So we're going to ask them to input their answer. So the input command is built up of the word in and put. So it's kind of like you're putting in something into your app from the user. So inside of parentheses, you'll see that Replit will already insert the second parentheses for you. And in the parentheses, you're going to put a quotation mark and put in the question you want to ask the user. And after that question mark at the end, I'm going to put in a space. Just so when you actually see it show up on the console, you'll have a space before you can type in your answer. So now go ahead and press the Run button. And you'll see on the right side on your console, it'll say, how long do you want your password to be? With a space afterwards, and you'll put in the number that you want. So I put in the number 10, and the number 10 will be saved in my length variable. Now to go on to the next line, Go ahead and make sure your cursor is at the end of this line of line two. So after that second parentheses, then press enter. Then you'll see that part of your code gets cut off just because your code editor doesn't have that much room on the screen. But no worries, all of your code's still there. So on line three, we're going to create a variable called password. And this is just going to hold the actual password that we're going to show to the user. But since we don't have a password yet, we're going to set it equal to apostrophe, apostrophe, no space in between. This just means it's empty because there's nothing inside. And then underneath this, go ahead and press enter. We're going to create a variable called lowercase. And this is going to hold all of the lowercase letters that we're going to include in our first password. So our first password is going to be a weak password. And a weak password is going to be one that's a little bit easier to guess. So we're only going to be choosing from the 26 lowercase letters to make up this password. So go ahead and put in an apostrophe, and then put in every single lowercase letter in the alphabet. And then make sure you close it off with the second apostrophe at the end, and hit Enter.